What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back doing our GM mode commentary with the Calgary Flames. We're here right before the draft and uh, before we get into it I wanted to talk about a couple things. Um, so like I was making the suggestion how I should trade uh, Wheeler in my first round pick and move up in the draft. Um, some of you guys were agreeing, other people uh, were saying that might not be the best idea, might make myself weaker for next year, which I see both sides to it. Um, and uh, I think it'll depend on the draft class, uh, whether I want to do that, um, take a look at everyone and really see if it's really something that I want to do um, to improve this team. Um, and then, oh yeah, first things first though, I should show uh, someone wanted to see the awards and all that stuff. So we'll do that, we'll get the awards. So, yep, the Stanley Cup Championship went to the Edmonton Oilers, um, Presidents, Tampa Bay, uh, Clarence's Campbell, Edmonton, Prince of Wales went to Blue, uh, the Blue Jackets, Art Ross, Jonathan Druin, Hart Memorial, Jonathan Druin, uh, James Norris, Carlson, uh, Lady Bings, Steven Stamkos, uh, Calder, Jim Hynote, all right, uh, Colin Smythe, Clint Pope, yeah, that was that goalie, okay, so yeah, he's, oh man, wow. So he wins the Stanley Cup on a, wasn't he? Yeah, wow. <laughs> uh, Vesna, yeah, right. Uh, Gwinden, two two years in a row now, Gwinden's win, won the Vesna, so that's good. We know our goalie's great. Uh, William N. Jennings, Gwinden, all right. Uh, Bill Masterton, uh, Brig Lee, not sure who that is. Uh, Frank J. Selke, Jonathan Taves, uh, Ted Lindsay, Jonathan Drewin, Maurice Richard, Steven Stamkos, and we're back to it. So there are the awards for last year and all of the previous years that you could see. Okay. And now I want to take a look at the draft class and kind of see like what we'd have to work with uh, moving forward and see if we do want to trade up. All right, so here's what it looks like. So it looks like... They're saying this guy's going to go first overall, 19-year-old uh, center playmaker. This guy's second overall, center sniper. Uh, Left-wing grinder saying third overall. This guy, two-way forward, though. Um, he could be good, though. And then this guy. This guy would be the guy, I think, to go after. Like a right-wing sniper, like a this guy. But I'm not sure. I don't have him that well scouted. The thing that worries me here is that I have this guy really well scouted. He's projected to go sixth overall, and he's only guaranteed three-and-a-half star. Like, see, that's what kind of, like, I'm, I'm, it, it weirds me out about this draft class. Like, this guy's completely scouted, like, yeah, I don't know. It looks as if this isn't the strongest draft class, so that's why I am worried uh, about moving up and trading all my assets on, on something that might not even pan out, like, the way I want it to. Um, but I will, I think the guy to look at would be this guy, this Christopher Montador guy. Um, yeah, nothing completely accurate, but we have a lot of fairly accurate stuff. It looks like he'll be a pretty strong skater. About his shot, you can't really tell. That kind of sucks. Um, it's not looking extremely strong, but it is only semi-accurate. That could go up or it could go down. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough to tell, man, especially for a guy like this. Really tough to tell. Um, but yeah, this is, this right here, man, this is what weirds me out a guaranteed three and a half star granted it's probably green but then again it's three and a half star like huh and then you look this guy might might actually drop actually now that i have him scouted or maybe not maybe my scout's really good i like this guy this uh petrovich guy guaranteed four star right wing playmaker same thing as patrick kane and if we take a look at him um guaranteed balance um Everything else, he could be actually a pretty good player. I mean, when you look at everything, he could be pretty good. We only have one thing completely accurate, but we know that he's going to be a four-star player. All right, and he's projected to go what? Like, see, there's here's the top ten, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, th okay, 22nd. Projected to go 22nd. Where's our pick? If we have a pick within that, um, within like the 20, I think I would go for him instead of trying to trade up. 
and then I would save my assets to make a p trade for players, like more, maybe more in their prime, maybe see what we can get, add in some uh, some uh, prospects that haven't panned out the way we wanted them to. But yeah, I think, I don't know if I want to move, I do want to move up in this draft, but the draft class just doesn't seem strong enough the way I want it to. Um, but I will check out that Monitor guy and see where he goes, but I don't think I'm going to be trading up in the draft, so... Uh, I'll check, and I don't even know if I want to check it out. I'm, I'm kind of dead set on that one guy. And because we don't have the other guys scouted out, I don't I don't want to trade away my assets. Like a Blake Wheeler, he could still play for us. So can Monaghan. Like, I don't want to go trade him. And then for something that doesn't even pan out, you know, that's a big risk to take when we're not 100% sure. So let's just get into the draft, see where our pick is. 25th. Ooh, we might not even get that guy. So... Huh. I kind of do want to move up slightly because now I'm not sure that we're going to get that guy. Hmm. Yeah, he's a guaranteed four star and we didn't have anyone else in there. So maybe I will have to move up slightly. Let's go back real quick. All right, so let's just go for like 20th. Let's look at the Islanders pick. Let's see if we can get their pick. Just move up a little bit in this draft, okay? So, where is the New York Islanders? Alright, New York Islanders. Let's see. Their pick. They don't want to give it up. So, that's a little bit annoying. But, we can probably get it from them. It's going to take a bit more. I'd have to add in. Don't want to add in my second. Definitely not. Let's see. Any goalies I could add in? Maybe. I could add in this Duchesne guy. And then... Oh, they probably won't be able to accept this because of goalie. Yeah, that's going to be way too many goalies for him. Okay, so... Let's see. Anyone here I could give up? This Chorney guy? What's this guy like? Uh, three and a half. Ah. Uh, I could. Chris Tierney? Three and a half. Hotchkiss. Let's check out this guy. What's he like? No, Cole Tierney. Well, yeah. Uh, grinder, left wing. Three and a half, gold star. at 73 overall. I don't. I say this guy doesn't get too much better. Throw this guy in there, and I think that would go through. Um, I don't know, though. We'll try it. Oh, right. Fuck. I should have checked his contract. That was my fault. All right. Let's try again. All right, Islanders. We want that twentieth. All right, so let's look again at. Uh, let's go to all skaters. See who they'd want. Okay, Colborn. Wow, we could. Yeah, but they don't want him. I'm definitely not going to give up this Craig guy. Meyer, no. They want Uric. <laughs> I don't, uh, this might be the time to give him up, though. How about, who's this guy? Hotchkiss, they want him. Only one year left, so I can't work. Uh, that sucks. More, no. Alright, none of these guys. Maybe give away someone with no years. Which they should be able to accept, right? Who's this guy? 71, Asus Meyer. Defensive defenseman, 20 years old, three and a half gold. Uh, this is gonna be tough, man. Even for something little like this, it's gonna be tough. This Chorney guy, 66. I'd rather give up this guy, I think, than the other guy. Yeah, we'll throw Chorney in there. All right, now this should go through. Prospect and the pick for that. Oh wow. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to even get this pick. I only have two phone, three phones left. Never mind. But holy crap. Let's see anyone else. Let's go to the 21st pick. Who had the 21st? I don't remember. Uh, we'll, we'll find it. Hold on. Nope. Nope. 
27th, hell no. Oh, yeah. Let's go for LA. Looks like they want to give it up. Okay, they want to give it up as well, so... They don't want ours, but it should be a little less value to trade for. So let's do that. Then let's throw in some kind of player. All right, let's go back down to where we were. Uh, they don't want this Chorny guy. That kind of sucks. Um, definitely don't want to give him this guy away. Um, let's actually just try to force Chorny upon them. Wait, was it Chorny? Yeah, it was Chorny. So we try to do this. They don't want either of these, but they should go through. Yeah, okay. We got that. All right, so there we go. We moved up slightly in the draft, gave up a player that we're most likely not going uh, to use. So, And I don't see that guy going. So that's good. And I'm just kind of looking out. Anything else there? Monitor Quran. Yeah, that that one guy I'm looking for who was like a three and a half star. I don't remember his name, but I don't recognize it. But I could be wrong. Anyway, there we go. See, we uh, we actually didn't need to, I don't think, move up as high as we did. But we would have missed the guy. I mean, we could have moved up one pick, but um, doesn't matter. I wanted to make sure to get this guy, Sandia Petrovic. All right, guaranteed four-star player, high league value. Hopefully, it's gold or green. If it was green, that'd be like a gem. But I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's at least gold. It better be at least gold. If it's red, that will really suck. But I don't think it will be. So we'll get this Petrovic guy, 21st overall. All right, so that takes care of the first round. Second round, don't think we need to move up. Uh, we got some guys scouted, guaranteed like four, three and a half star things. So we're just gonna take care of that. All right. This guy, like this guy, uh, you know, guaranteed three and a half star player, two way forward, twenty years old. That's someone I'd pick up in the second round. So we'll do that. Okay. Uh, third round, yeah, I'll pick some guys up here. All right. Yep. Yeah, continue. Come on. Oh, oops. I pressed B last time, I guess. Yeah. No trades. All right. See anyone that we can get. Uh, this guy's going fifth round, fourth round. Uh, for this, I'll just choose someone. Power forward center. That's interesting. Just choose this guy. See what he turns out to be. Next round, I will draft uh, one of those two four-rounder guys that we wanted. All right, maybe even the fifth round guy, if they're left. If they're if they're not available, that sucks. Yeah, they're not. But we could choose one of these guys. Two, a forward, a grinder. Uh, might as well just pick up this grinder guy. There we go. All right, and then I'll auto-draft the rest. There we go. So that takes care of this year's draft. And now we're going to get into the resign period. And then hopefully be able to get through this and then get into free agency. And that's when I'll probably start making the trades. All right. But no, no, no. I don't need this. Going to see what we have to do here. Yeah, resign players. I'm not sure this is a big signing year for us. Uh, not actually positive. Okay, okay, yeah, all right. So we got to do Ekman Larson and Runblad. I think I want both these guys back, honestly. Um, Ekman Larson and Runblad. Okay, Gravel and Monahan as well. Um, oh, wow, Jones, Benson, Girat. Okay, so there's quite a few uh, signings we need to make. All right, so... Yeah, there is. Oh, wow, we could still... I think I want. I will get Richards back. But let's start with the big ones here. We have $25 million of in cap space. I want Ekman Larson back. He's probably going to want some money. Uh, yeah, wow, he does. Okay, if I get him for more years, it starts to go down a little bit. Five years, take him up till he's 34. I like that. Five years, take him up till he's 34 for Ekman Larson. Let's do it for 5.5. There we go. Alright, um, for Runblad, I don't think I want to give him five years. I'll try to... Oh, I could, but that takes him up till he's 35. He really, yeah, he's really starting to decline at that point. Um, I'll give him, uh... I'm even a little uncomfortable giving him four years. But that does take him up till he's 34. We can always trade him, so... This guy, for, let's try 4.5. That might be too low. But we'll try it anyway. 4.5 for four years for Runblad. Okay. And uh, Monahan. 
I guess we'll resign this guy. He might get a jump. I'm hoping he doesn't want too much. He does not. Uh, I will only sign him to two years, though. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll get him to three years. Takes him up till he's 29. Yeah, three years at uh, 3.75. That should get him. Yeah, we'll get him right there. All right, so there is Monahan, Gravel. I'll get this guy relatively short. Wow, this guy still likes money. He's an 85. I will give it to him. All right, so 4.50 for three years. Again, this is another guy I can always trade. All right, uh, Jones. I wish I could tender a qualifying offer for this guy. Two years. Yeah, I'll give him two years and bring that way down. I don't think I can get him for four flat, but I'll try. All right, and these are a lot of the major ones, so let me skip a day and see who we get back. Ugh. Nose getting all stuffy for some reason. What the hell? All right, let's see. Come on, hurry up. Uh, we got Monahan, Runblad. Okay, no. Uh, but we got Jones, we got Larson, and we got Gravel. So Runblad was the only one holding out. Ooh, man. Only going to have 10 mil to work with. So Runblad, Runblad, Runblad. I'm going to have to go to 4.75 for this guy. For three years, yeah. Okay. Benson. This guy's going to be weird now. Yeah, see, this guy's going to start wanting some cash. I could get him. It doesn't look like he's bumping up a huge amount, but I'll get him for really low this year if I can. Like something like 1.6 I could get him for. Um, Girat, same thing. I want to try to Keep these guys low if I can. Oh, wow, Gerard. Well, wait a sec. That's good news, though. If you look, if we start bumping him up, he starts really going up. Okay. Um, I want to give him a fair deal. So three years, take him up till he's 26. I think I could do that. Try to give him for as low as possible. He might not take this. But let me do that, and then we're going to advance a day because this is going to be tough. We're going to be... This is going to be one of the closest years to be a cap for us, I think. Oh, man. Yeah, Benson didn't want it. Both of those guys did not want it, so that sucks. They both rejected. Ooh, man. Okay, Benson and Gerard. Okay, Gerard. He wants a three-year deal. That's what I'm trying to give him. Uh, I'm going to have to go a little higher than what I did. 2.650 for three years for Gerard. And Benson, how many years does this guy want? He wants three as well. Yeah, three at 1.750 was what I'll have to go to. Ah. So we'll get him. And then I can sign, like, one more guy. Jordy Ben, Mike Richards. See, I don't know if I want to sign one of these guys now. More, I don't think so. Uh, wow, yeah. Schuster... Yeah, he's still pretty good. Um, Jordy Ben, on the other hand, no. I'm going to release Jordy Ben. Okay, we release Jordy Ben. And I don't think I'm going to sign Mike Richards either. I mean, I'd love to, but I mean, he could... If I sign him and then he drops like two and a half star, he's like worthless. And he's just going to decline. So, I'm going to release Mike Richards. So, sucks I couldn't win the dude cup, but that's how it goes sometimes. All right, so this more guy, three gold, three green star. Could be some weird depth, but I think he's more of an AHL or honestly. Um, yeah, and he's not, he's done, doesn't have the greatest categories either. Uh, this Anderson guy could be some good depth if I can get him for cheap. Should be, uh, his defensive awareness is like not as good. It's, it looks like he's actually dropping. There's more guy. I'm going to release this guy. Okay. All 
Alright, anyone else? Joaquim Anderson. This guy could still be okay for depth. So, one, yeah, I can get him two-way deal anyway. So, we'll do that. Get that guy two-way deal. Schuster, I could probably do the same thing. Get him for some defensive depth. One year, yep, uh, two-way deal. Looks good. So I think that'll take care of that. Let's advance a day. I'll check out goalies as well. But I, I already knew the main goalies that I wanted would not – their their contracts would not be coming up. So, okay, yeah, we got Anderson, Schuster. Benson rejected again, but we got Girat. So all we need now is Benson. He's being a little stubborn bastard. But we still have four mil, no big deal. But I do want Benson. So... At this point, I'm actually only going to get him for two years. So I can get him lower. Actually, not lower than I've been trying, but it'll get him to actually sign. There we go. We'll do that. Now, he definitely should sign for that. Okay, so goalies now. Anyone that I really need is to sign. Laying hammer. I don't think I'm going to keep this guy or Wells. Nope, I'm going to release both these guys. Yeah, release you. And release you, Langhammer. Thank you for your service. All right, and we still got Morrissey McDonald to do AHL and Williams and Quinden. And I'm still going to look, see if there's any kind of trading assets in the free agency, especially when it comes to prospects. Okay, all right. So what we're looking at right now for forwards, we got McDavid, Kane, Gaudreau, Defoley, Wheeler, Monahan, Colborn, Benson, Poirier, Marner, Anderson, Urich. And then got some guys. So definitely, we don't really need to sign depth, I, although we could, and I think I might want to. But we'll see. Okay, there we go. We got Benson now, and we have $3.3 million to work with. Now that's plenty to get some depth guys in free agency. And if we are not happy with the way Benson has been going i mean we spent a lot on this guy and he hasn't been you know that great we could always trade this guy um marner kind of same thing maybe if we wanted to switch back to our third line being more defensive we could do that all right but we have a lot of suit oh wait got some more guys assigned my bad did not see that uh two way yeah we'll get this guy two way in a year uh same thing with Kondachev. one year two way there we go all right um this cold tyranny guy yeah i could sign him yeah there's a lot of garbage guys to sign now Uh, these guys, no, not you. Right, let's just go to here see what we have. Oh, wait, wait now. Nah. There. Tyranny, Fox, Gonchev, Hotchkiss. Yeah. Yeah, this guy could be okay. I mean, yeah. Let's do that for him. Alright, now is there anyone potential that I want to sign that is not? This guy, okay, I could play this guy now in uh, AHL, so I'll negotiate contract for him. Alright, get him. Okay, go back to here again. What the hell? Um, oh man, that was, maybe I should do it. Yeah, I'll just do it by potential. No, Colosari, yeah, he's already on. Madonna. Yeah, I could sign this guy now. Alright, we'll get him. Oh no, it got me all screwed up here. Nilsson, no. Lassert, no. Not yet. Uh, well, I could play him. But he's got low potential, so no. Uh, X will be 
No, I don't think I'll do either of these guys. No, nope, not you. And not X will be. And I think that's it. Let's advance a day. Okay, come on. We got Madonna. We got Tierney. We got Craig. We got Konachev, Fox, and Hotchkiss. And that should be all. Yes, it is. All right. So now we got a full team. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, sir. And forwards. We got everything we need. We already counted those. Yes, sir. Now, we might have to pick up some depth and stuff like that in free agency. But we'll get to that in the next video. I want to get your guys' opinions. Here we are on the very last day. Let's go and I'll show you guys what we'd have to pick from and what kind of uh, trades we could make or whatever. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so all right, continue. Sign free agents. Let's see. All right, so if we're looking for second-line replacements, uh, not too much to work with. Emerson Edom is there. We cannot afford him. We'd have to make some trades, stuff like that. So here's, here's all the skaters and stuff. We'd probably be making depth uh, picks. And let's see any potential skaters. This guy, okay. This guy might not be bad. Right winger. Right wing playmaker. Uh, yeah, he's already 25. And four and a half red star. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright, so. Ristolainen. He's, he wants money. This guy, who's this guy? Ojamaki. Maybe. Mm, grinder, no thanks. Uh, Klimchuk, Snyad, too old. Uh, too old. Curtis Lazar, kind of same thing. Too old. Morrissey, too old. Yeah, that seems to be the problem with a lot of these potentials, forwards especially. Are any goalies to look at? Probably. Yeah, it looks like a couple guys who are... Yeah, there's going to be, oh yeah, there's going to be some guys to sign. All right, so we'll probably sign a couple goalies as trading assets, stuff like that. So you guys let me know who you saw, anything like that. And then let me know about trades and stuff for better um, better players. So this is going to be Sin signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, just want to wish a happy 4th of July to all my American buddies out there. Be safe. Do not drink and drive. Be smart. And careful with your fireworks. We do have a lot of veterans. Um, they got you know, have seen combat, so, anyway, um, and also, happy, uh, belated Canada Day to all my, uh, Canadian, uh, friends out there, that was a few days ago, I tried to find some Canadian beer, but America's not cool enough to sell Canadian beer, so, <laughs> I had to settle for some, uh, Blue Moon, because I do not drink American piss water, anyways, let me guys, <laughs> ugh, let me know about all this stuff, guys, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.